In this video we're going to look at substitution and the best kind of substitution, not the kind on a football field but the kind in algebra, that kind. Substitution, quite hard to spell. We're given an, exp an equation, y equals 6x take away 2 and then we're told if x equals 3, I've got a question. What is y? Well, what substitution involves is where we replace the symbol x in this case with the number 3. What might help is if you literally draw the same equation again but instead of when you're drawing the x, draw a 3 with brackets. The reason why we put it in brackets is to remind ourselves that it was 6 multiplied by x and brackets means multiplied. Don't think that this becomes 9 or even 63 or something like that. It's 6 multiplied by 3. Let's find out what y would be then. Well, 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 and we still have the minus 2. 18 take away 2 is 16. So the answer to the riddle was y would be 16 if you substituted x as being 3. Let's try an expression where we need to find, let's use the same expression, the same equation, but this time we're given y and we need to find x. So same expression y equals 6x minus 2. Technically it's an, an equation because there's, there's an equal sign so I shouldn't be calling it an expression. We have y equals 6x minus 2 and let's say y equals 10. y equals 10. What does x equal? Same trick as before we bring the, this time, the coach off the field. So we take off the y and we replace him with a 10. So 10 now equals 6x minus 2. The y is gone and we've substituted in her place a 10. Now we want to find x, so all the things getting in the way of x we need to get rid of. They're a problem to us. There's two things getting in the way of x. There's a 6 right next to it, and there's a minus 2. The only problem is, if we get rid of the 6 first by dividing by 6, we're going to create fractions and decimals, and it might be a bit of a disaster. So let's get rid of the minus 2 first. Do you know how to get rid of a minus 2 in an equation? Well, in an equation, both sides have to balance. And so whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. The opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. So we're going to have to do plus 2 to get rid of the minus 2. And we're going to have to do plus 2 to both sides. Don't forget, to both sides. Notice also how I write the plus 2 underneath the numbers, not underneath the letter. Letters and numbers are in completely different categories. So when we're adding 2, we're only adding 2 to the minus 2 and the 10, not to the 6x. We wouldn't get 8x. They're a separate category. 10 plus 2 is 12. We're still left with 6x, completely not affected by this. And the minus 2 plus 2 is 0, so we're just 6x. Now we can focus on getting rid of the 6. The 6 next to the x means times by 6. And again, with an equation, to get rid of something, you have to do the opposite. The opposite to timesing by 6 is dividing by 6. So what we actually do is divide by 6 to both sides to get x on its own. You probably could just guess the number at this stage, because 6 times by what gets you to 12? But technically, if we're going to do the opposite, we would just divide by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So x equals 2.